now that that's done, we'll just close that and we'll go to the NVIDIA Experience Center thingy again. And this should give us uh, the three, three, five drivers uh, in our uh, rig thing, rig option. Um, probably taking a while to load up because it is reinstall or a, a clean install of it. So yep, here we go. So if we go to rig, we are at three three five point two three. So um, now we're pretty much getting into Hyper SLI. So we'll just put this to the side and we'll take out Hyper SLI one point zero. Double click on that. Now this is the interface that you'll get. Uh, patch can be applied. So you press install. Installing installation in progress. Again, just to make sure that you don't think I'm cheating here. And switched machines or whatever I've been accused of before on my Mac Mini videos. It's still an Apple Inc. logic board. So still my Mac Pro. Um, so first stage of installation has been completed successfully reboot your PC under hyper SLI boot option. So what this does is it gives you a second option called Windows whatever you have Windows Vista 7, 8, 8.1 uh, whatever bit you have 32 bit A6 or x86 or 64 x 64 or whatever hyper SLI so what we do is we manually restart the machine so restart and so this will actually prompt up straight away after this so it will, uh, it will prompt itself to come up and uh, it'll probably give us the option straight away And this does work. I have been using it on HyperX. Uh, I have been using HyperX for a while now, and uh, it does give you a, a, a fair speed boost. Um, but again, it is only a software hack, and software hacks can only do so much. It will give you SLI support, and it will SLI give you a massive boost to your frames like a normal SLI should do. But because it doesn't work on the latest drivers, it's it it's become uh, a bit redundant considering all the new games that are coming out soon. Uh, the last game that three three five supports is Battlefield. Watch Dogs doesn't support it. Um, it will you just even in SLI you'll just get a constant ten frames per second on Watch Dogs. Where I, if I just put up to 340 I get about 60 frames per second on a single card so uh, there is good reasons for this and there's bad reason or there's good things and bad things for doing this and uh, a lot of the older games like Battlefield 4 and all that work perfectly fine on SLA so we should be booting up now and you'll see this, well, as soon as this thing moves up here. Windows 8.1 Hyper SLI. If you're on Windows 7, you'll have a black screen and it'll show you Windows 7 and Windows 7 Hyper SLI. They won't show you this here. That's just the application that I use. So you want to click in the Hyper SLI version. And uh, fingers crossed this should work. Um, so just click in here um, I'll just face upwards over here or just put this on my Mac Pro <laughs> because Windows 8 has a thing about using your email as your password into your machine which is ridiculous so we're in and uh, this should prompt up now any second 
uh, then corner here it should pop up no never mind it's over here so installation in progress Still doing that. This is probably the one longer takes I'm going to do for this, and uh, after it does this, I'll uh, it'll give you a reboot button. So, um, you just click reboot. So it's going through all that now, and uh, once it restarts, we'll hopefully have SLI support. I'll pause this until we get into the actual operating system. So we'll start up. Now, again, I'll just iterate that some of the newer games that are coming out now will not be supported on this uh, driver set. So just, just a word of warning. Again, from now on, you'll be using Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 64-bit Hyper SLI or whatever bit your operating system is. So, again, I'm just going to put in my password. Uh, welcoming me to my computer. Thank you. And here we go. So, down the bottom here, we should hopefully tryingly get a SLI thing to pop up saying that we can SLI. Any minute now. <laughs> so or hyper SLI will pop up again. I can't remember which. So, what I'll do is, there's Hyper SLI, click on that, seems to be working fine. Just right click, go to the NVIDIA control panel, and we have 335, two GTX 660s, and again, just to reiterate, this is still a Mac Pro. 1.1 Still that Still that So I'll just close this And up here SLI configuration and SRAN physics. So, as you may see, the two graphics cards just maximize 3D performance. You see the SLI bridge there and apply. And sometimes applications can get in the way, so I'll just close a few applications close and continue playing settings flashing for some reason there we go Mac Pro 1.1 in SLI and to prove that I just not had a software a hack I'll go to totally separate uh, application called EVGA Precision X and that even detects 
that's in SLI. Now, uh, to kind of show the kind of performance that I'm going to get from this, um, I'm going to disable one of the cards from SLI. I'm going to disable SLI, apply. So now we're in non-SLI mode, so one card is going to be my main card and the other card will be my physics. So I'm going to do a little bit of benchmarking. So I have 3D Marks 11 here. Fantastic uh, benchmarking software. And sure, close. Eventually that'll boot up. I'll just pause this until this boots up. <laughs> Back in a minute. 